Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. This is the end of the review with Jason Hyde. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. No, please, please, thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Check this out. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm cutting through the hot turkey sandwich with a steak knife from Sizzler, baby. I'm different from most people. I have spent a lot of money on ridiculous things for games. Listen, I'm not going to name names or anything. I mean, there's no point in that. But when I read the top story today in the news, somebody bought on eBay a Nintendo Entertainment System bundled with a few games. Well, that happens every day. Of course it does. But do they spend $13,105 on the bundle? I don't think so! <laughs> Cars, jewelry, rings, timeshares. I mean, I've seen it all get sold on eBay for prices like that. But if you're gonna spend money on something like that and collectors know, first, you're crazy. Second, you are bidding to win on the rarest game in the world. And as the emulator review spokesperson Jason Heine here, I commend you, my friend. You're crazy. You are crazy. There is something wrong with you, and as I usually do, let me check WebMD. Yep, and as expected, it's a little modified on this one, but WebMD says, see your doctor. So the big question is, everyone's asking, why did this guy buy this game? Basically comes down to this. This person has an extreme and ample amount of disposable income. And without that, you're not buying diddly shit. So with that out of the way, let's put on our track shoes, lace them up nice and tight, put on our headbands, and head out to the track for stadium events on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Developed and published by, I believe it's Bandy, or Bandai, either way, I'm sure I'll be correct in the comments. In 1987, this game is called Running Stadium in Japan for the Famicom. This game is part of a series branded in North America as the Family Fun Fitness, which included the game and a mat. There was another game included in the series called Athletic World. Really just a bit earlier. A box that has screenshots of other games that were never released. It says coming soon next to them. Okay, the game is like track and field, Olympic styled, and the game modes are 100 meter dash, 110 meter hurdles, long jump, and triple jump. Also has a tournament and the Olympics game mode as well. Okay, so let's check out some of the gameplay earlier. You saw I got to put in my name. That's kind of nice. Now, this game does use the power pad. If you don't know what that looks like, it looks like this. Player one, player two. As soon as both players have their feet on the pad, it signals ready, blows the whistle, shoots the gun, and they're off and running and I'm not really sure if you noticed what happened there. Maybe it's because I'm a drummer and I have very fast hands, but I just cream that guy. As he's strolling in the park, I'm enjoying the nice blue sky and sunny day we have overhead. So moving on to the next one, how about some long jump? We always love a little long jump here. With this event, it gives you three tries. Best out of three. All right, so here I am here on my third attempt. I'm not messing around. Oh my goodness, he's got a rocket pack attached to his butt. Boom, and there it is, 1689. All right, moving on to 110 meter hurdles. In this event, your good old fashioned running, jumping over hurdles is actually quite a bit of fun, except for the fact that I'm not on the pad, so it's kind of hard for me to jump, but I can simulate that on the keyboard, but it just has horrible detection of when I'm jumping. I'm trying to think, using my fingers like I would my feet and running, it's very difficult to do, actually, and you kind of see here I hit every single hurdle for the most part. He's just jumping like crazy, jumping over and then not sometimes. It, it's pretty crazy, but either Either way, I still smoke the guy. Pretty fun event. And then the good old triple jump. This is probably my favorite event. Why? I don't really know. I guess because it just has the most interaction, the most challenge out of all. I just got a brand new pair of Nike shocks and it shows. Now that's a fun event. I enjoyed that quite a bit. I actually played it for about 10 minutes, so I had to get rid of all the footage prior to this or we wouldn't have a show here. So anyway, we're going to go in and do a little bit of the Olympics here and uh, somebody just hits VTech here and uh, enjoys an ice cream sandwich at the end of the runway. You see an Olympic mode here. It doesn't sugarcoat anything. It's just you do the event and then boom, on to the next one. All right, so since we've seen all the events, I'll just skip to the very end here on the uh, Olympics. Hey, one point shy of the best score you can get, 400. I'll take it. All right, well, let's get in here and check out some of this tournament action. Oh boy, we got Turtle here. He's stretching out. It's getting real serious in here. Let's have a race, he says. I couldn't agree with you more, sir. All right, so you go through and you annihilate this guy and it gives you a prize. All right, next up is Bear. I get a prize. Then we have Horse. Looks like a human to me, but... Doesn't matter, I get another prize. Then we have Rabbit. Seen animal theme happening. Doesn't matter, I'm faster, now I got a trophy. 
That's how it's done, and another prize. And now we have Cheetah, and if he says if I beat him, I'm the best. Well, Cheetah, I'm the best anyway. And I will own you at your own game, sir. I will admit, I was a little freaked out there for a minute. I kept hitting those damn things. I'm like, he is gonna catch me. He is gonna, wait, what? You've got to be kidding me. It says, you are champion? Did they forget the word the? You are the champion? Oh god, I love it. This dude spent $13,000 on this game, and it doesn't even say the sentence correctly. Now that is worth playing this game to the end right there. All right, guys, so here, check it out. There it is, Stadium Events for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I wanted to show you the game. I wanted to talk a little bit about it, some of the history, some of the backstory. So I played the game. I wanted to show you guys the gameplay. I think that's very, very important. But I didn't talk about the story on why it's so rare, so let me recap. This game goes down as the rarest licensed NES game available for purchase in North America. There's a list called the Holy Grails of Console Gaming. This game is number six on that list. The reason why it's so rare is due to when it was released during the holiday season of 1987. It was exclusive to Woolworth's department store. They released it there to test the market. Gotta realize this is an exciting thing. See, Nintendo caught word of this. They did some research, found out these guys made this game, this track and field game, and this accessory that they'd never seen before this pad you run jump and all the movements are interacted on the screen with the character i mean that's unheard of in 87 nintendo goes we gotta get this so what do they do yeah you know what they do good old deep pockets nintendo calls them up says yeah we'd kind of like to buy the uh, north american rights to this uh family fun fitness technology you got going on and you know they were already planning on doing this i mean they licensed it they approved the game to be made to be used on their console so you know they were like listen we're gonna approve this but man we gotta talk to these guys we gotta get this game this is awesome. Okay, so Nintendo's like, listen, we want to buy the rights to the game. And Bandai's like, uh, oh, hell yeah. We're just testing this thing out. And all of a sudden, Nintendo just comes knocking on the door. Uh, yeah, you guys can have it. Guess what Nintendo also bought the rights to? Yeah, the two games that were released with it. The two games that were already released. They also bought the rights to the pad's design and technology. So now Nintendo owned the rights to the entire thing. The games, the pads, they demanded that all existing copies be destroyed. This thing was only on the market for, I'm sure, a matter of months, maybe a month if that. There was only 2,000 copies of this game made. But on top of only 2,000 copies being made, only an estimated 200 copies were sold to customers. Nintendo bought the rights, ordered all the games be destroyed, when they were just still in test market phase. Today is an estimated only 10 complete in existence. And the term complete would mean box, manual, game, and there's believed to be only one still factory sealed. So then when Nintendo had the rights, they rebranded it and sold it as the power pad. They did modifications to the names, cartridges, badges, all that good stuff. But with stadium events specifically, all Nintendo did was change the name, change the label, change the title, and change the title screen to reflect the new name. What did they change it to? World Class Track Me, the game that came with the power pad. It was even later released with Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. That's right, you got three games on one cartridge. So, there are rare games amongst us, and when it comes to the NES platform, this is probably one of the most sought after amongst collectors and historians due to its rarity, market availability, market value, name branding no longer in existence. I'm gonna hit this game with the EMU review grade. This game gets an A+. The question still exists. Why? Why would you buy it for that much? Well, one's childhood and past memories can be a very powerful thing. Having an item so rare like this in the right hands would be the key to preserving not just the game or the manual or the book, but a time, place, an era. What you do today affects every day coming. When something's created and in a short period of time destroyed, there will be a flock of people that want to know why. Because when it comes down to it, all people want is the truth. And as we all know, in the blink of an eye, our future can be altered, but our past can never be changed. Some may think it's a $13,000 video game. It's the furthest from it. This person knows how important it is to pay respect to our past, because our pasts, right or wrong, are where we come from. It's what makes us, us. And while looking at it, then learning from it all makes us better people. Even though it may seem to be a bit crazy while looking at it on the surface. But underneath, the purchase of that game signifies the connection between the roots and humble beginnings of technology that influenced and changed our world. This person didn't buy a $13,000 video game. This person invested in history.